Hey, this is Eddie Hale, and I want to show you today how to draw the cup with the see-through handle from Lesson 7 in my Adobe Illustrator class. Let's go to Illustrator. First thing you have to do is draw half a cup. Um, I have smart guides on so that I can see where my center point is. I'm going to start here, and I think you should draw me half a cup. I will stop the tape and come back together when our cups are done. Deselect that path. Now draw half a saucer. Finish off here. There's my half a saucer, half a cup. You could go back through and adjust those now with the white arrow. There, now I've got my half a saucer, half a cup. I'm going to flip. I'll flip the saucer first. Take the black arrow, click on the saucer. Then I go to the, the Reflect tool. The Reflect tool is hidden underneath the Rotate tool. Click on it, go down there, and then I don't just click here, I Option click. Hold the Option key, click, and I'm going to tell this to flip over the vertical axis, and I'm going to flip a copy. There's my two halves of a saucer. They are two separate shapes, which is no good. I want to make them one shape, so I'm going to draw a little marquee around these two anchor points here and I'm going to join them. Object, Path, Join. Because they're right on top of each other, they just join. In fact, if I wanted to be real clean, I could take the pen tool now and delete that anchor point. I don't need it there. That's extra. I don't need to do that. Now right here, I'm going to select these two anchor points and close those up also. Draw a little marquee around them. Object, Path, Join. There, those are joined up too. Now I'm going to flip this um, top half of the cup. Select it with the black arrow. Go to the Reflect tool. Option click. Flip a copy over the vert vertical axis. I'm going to take the white arrow now and join these two anchor points. Draw a marquee around them. I'm going to use my keystroke, Command-J, to join those two. If I want to be super clean, I'll also select these two down here. Command-J. Now you caught me, my cup doesn't look perfect down here, but no one will ever know because it's covered up by the saucer. Ah, now I need to cut the handle out here. So what I'm going to do is take another look at it. I think I need a taller cup. I'm going to select this top part of the cup and move it up. Yeah, a little taller cup. And then I'm going to, um, there are several ways I could do it. I could add anchor points and pull them out to make that handle of the cup. When I did it though, I took I took the scissors, which happens to be hidden under my eraser right now, and I cut a section out of the cup. I can take the white arrow now and click on that and delete it. There, I cut that piece out of my cup. Now I take the pen tool. When I draw here, I try very hard not to not to change this part of the curve up here. I'm going to take another look at the cup. All right. Here's the top of my handle. Here's the side. Bottom. And then connect it again, trying real hard not to change the bottom curve of my cup because it already looks beautiful. Now, I'll let you take a couple of minutes with your white arrow and adjust that handle of the cup till it looks beautiful. Okay, I think this looks pretty good, but it dips down too deep here, so I'm going to add an anchor point, delete that anchor point there. There, I'm going to call that good enough. Now I have to draw the inside of the handle here. I'm going to start by dragging where I probably should have kept this line here. Yes, I should have.
And again, I'll take the white arrow and adjust that. Take as much time as you need. I'll wait here. Okay, something like that. I'd like the um, like the handle to be mostly, you know, the same thickness all the way around. So strive to get that. And I'd also like this angle right here to be the same angle as the side of the cup. On the uh, well, as if it were, as if it were here, as if these two lines were connected. Work a little bit at getting that in there. Then there's that rectangle in the back that is going to be filled with some green color. I'm going to send this to back, shift command, left bracket, send that to back. So you, I want you to work on getting the type beautiful and the stroke around here just right. But how do we get that to be see-through? The trick there is select this hole in the cup and shift click on the cup itself and go to object and go to object compound path make. There you go, and now it's see-through. Now you can work at getting the cup the right color. It's sort of a um, creamy color. Not that dark. And um, the stroke around it is also, I believe the stroke around it is, oh, green. The stroke around it is green, so lots of yellow, lots of cyan to make the stroke around there green, no black. Bring this to the front. And same thing, give that the, actually I'll just use the eyedropper tool to eyedropper the cup up here to get those the same color. So that's how you make the cup. Thanks for watching.